What do you got there, Maya? You got lots of babies. She had six babies on Monday. So now she just lays here all day and feeds. She's a tired mama too. All right guys, I wanna show you some of my cars. Um, start off with my new daily driver that I acquired this past October and um, Subaru never ever in my life did I think I would drive a Subaru but I actually ended up loving this thing so here it is 2002 Impreza 2.5 RS She's a good uh, snow rig, that's for sure. Super dirty though. Just had a ridiculous amount of snow. And with all the sand and stuff on the road, it just makes her dirty. But, yep, my daily. Now we're gonna get into the garage and I have one of three 86s in here. All right, my first crawl I've ever picked up. It's a 1986 SR5, sadly. Um, <clears throat> it did look pretty good at one point, and then I decided to make a few changes, and it's kind of been a slow project getting her back to looking halfway decent, but we're getting there. Nothing much interior wise. It's pretty, pretty factory, and then until you get to the back, it's all gutted. So, yeah, that's uh, one of three of my Corollas, and I don't know what it is, but once I find a good deal on a Corolla, I try and uh, make a deal and pick it up because. These cars are getting more and more limited each day, and I absolutely love them. Definitely my favorite car. Oh yeah, and then here's the BMX. It's a fit DAC. I fucking love this bike. The geometry and everything about it is just amazing. My good friend Jason hooked it up. Alrighty, we are here with Russell, and he's gonna explain or tell us about his cars. Yep, so this is my second Corolla. Um, it's an SR5, uh, soon to be GTS. We have here our block that is uh, currently fat. Currently fat! Take a look at this. <laughs> Bought it like that, so whole rebuild. So that project is long hold. At least she drives. Uh, it was a Torino pop-up one, and I did a 11 conversion, and that was a fun little project. Found a sweet deal online, Craigslist, with the fenders, the corner light, and the bumper for 600 bucks, and the rest found online on eBay, and it all came together. Looks pretty good. And then, uh, got the CF hood also. Yeah. Real carbon fiber. And here's the inside. It's actually really clean, other than the tear in the seat. But those are just GTS seats. 
good look in the back. Interior's all there. Clean, you even got the trunk garnish. Yeah. And we'll throw in what it looked like before I did the conversion so you guys get an idea. Of so yeah, there's 11 and this is the uh, drift car, the uh, 1985 GTS and a uh, little customization done. T3 Turbo, Turbonetics. Um, who, bu who built that awesome looking catch can for you? <laughs> My boy Craig. He, he did a spectacular job. He actually did all the welding and uh, was killer at it. Wouldn't ask for anyone else to do it. He uh, rebuilt my intercooler so the inlets are facing the inside of the engine. The Szynski brothers, hit them up. Um, I'm running on Adaptronic Engine Management and running at nine pounds of boost. <coughs> Looks like you got a little sweet little... Uh, oh yeah, I got the dump tube uh, popping out the hood. That's how it sits. Some flamethrower action. Oh yeah, got some big flames shooting out of that. <laughs> um, I don't even know the numbers. I don't know what power I'm getting, but uh, she's a lot of fun. Yeah. Hoping to do every event next year, making some changes because I have some steering issues. What kind of coilovers are on here? Got some Techno Toy tuning coils. And wheels? Just counting rewinds. Um, there are 14s in the front, right? Yeah, 14s in the front, 15 in the back. Uh, here's the inside. Oh. Momo steering wheel. Got that TRD, TRD shift knob. Oh yeah, TRD shift knob. Got the red, old school looking interior that everybody wants. Seat needs to be... <laughs> Uh, fixed up though. Can't ever find a clean drive. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty much full interior drift car. Oh, got Master Chief with me, co-pilot. What kind of gauges? AEM. AEM yeah. boost gauge and wide band. But yeah, that's uh, my GTS, and uh, I got some parts coming on the way. That project, once I get to it, hopefully these parts show up by the end of the month. And yeah, that is my GTS. So I'm gonna attempt to start the GTS. Um, hasn't, I haven't started it in a couple months, so. Hoping it starts. All right, so here we go. Get that fuel pump going. Almost getting it. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh, it's a little cold. Just got our personal pans. We're at Mod Pizza right now. It's stacked up. Have my drink. Gotta eat like good. Yeah. Pineapple does go on pizza. So I'm heading home from Russell's house and then I'm gonna show you my cars. Then we might get down on some gaming and I'll show some of that too.
They're probably hungry, huh? They hungry girls, huh? Alrighty, guys. Well, here's my car. My daily. It's a 2010 Subaru WRX. Super dirty right now. Gotta have the mud flaps like every Subaru owner. Got the tinted taillights, although I'm not a fan of them. They came on the car. I have some red ones I'm gonna be putting on. Super dirty though. <laughs> dirty in here too. But it's a fun car. I've only had it for a couple months. And uh, it's been really great in the snow. Super fun in the snow, I should say. What are you doing? Let's go. Here's my 240. It's obviously packed with snow. I'm gonna be taking this off in just a second so I can show you underneath. Can't even pull the whole thing off. It's just frozen to the car, but I got the D-Max rep taillights. The ISR blast pipes, three inch. And these are 17 by nines, plus 12, uh, Veristone ES2s. It is a pig nose. And uh, has an SR20 DET red top. And some cheap eBay coilovers. But they're actually pretty decent, surprisingly. And I also have a Nismo two-way diff on there, which is amazing. at your destination.
your destination. destination.